I'm not even going to go with that meme, sorry. But, first, all I have to say about that is, wait, now, Dianetics can't be better than the wheel or fire. With the wheel, I can run over it, and with the fire, I can burn it. Okay? <laughs> so... But, if you accept that Scientology is the greatest thing ever made, then you will understand their definition of suppressive person, which is a really complicated thing with 11 characteristics of what a suppressive person is, and the possible, care, the possible effects of suppressive persons on other organizations. I don't and, believe it! And all it me have it. <laughs> but all you have is someone who actively attempts to suppress that which is good and right around them i.e that's the point if you decide if you define they and literally angry gay pope over in la was told that there is yes angry gay pope is fabulous all right but, fabulous. all right but if you define scientology as the greatest good and if you just find a suppressive person that is as someone who suppresses what is great and good, then you don't get to say that a suppressive person is not an enemy of Scientology. That's precisely what it is. So I'd like to word clear that for you all. The second one, terrorist. We have been called to, I've been called to my face, a terrorist and a hacker. Several of us have. I have. All right, by these people in here. Now, okay. Terrorists. Let's think about that word. Let's think about ist. Let's think, yes, an artist, someone who does art, a typist. It used to be someone who set type, it used to be someone who used a typewriter, now it's just someone who types. A terrorist, someone who uses terror. Your tonsils need to be removed. Um. That's a point of uranium will do that just fine. Yes, but. I do not see any terror out here. I don't see it being used. I don't see it being inflicted. No, that's, that's, that's gay sex. That's gay sex. Okay. By all means. All right. No, they think that's a sin. I'm not sure they're familiar with the concept of sin. No, that's sin. Okay. okay. But we are not terrorists. Sorry. We're not your great evil enemy that you get to crusade out and destroy and be the good guys. Just say it. Even though that's exactly what they're trying to do right now. They're talking to the cops. Okay. killing their lulls. Third, religion. He's doing exactly what he said here. A religion is a faith. All right. It is a belief system that describes whether you want to call it metaphysically, whether you want to call it spiritually an understanding of how the world works. It usually involves a creation mythos, it usually involves some kind of punishment for not obeying whatever did the creating. Scientology involves none of that. It involves, well, body things. Basically dead alien spirits that are attached to all of us and inflict their suffering and badness upon each and every one of us, making us act in anti-survival ways. I don't think so. I'm sorry. I just don't think so. All right? Because it doesn't tell us, okay, how creatures evolved. It doesn't tell us, all right, what is right and wrong. It doesn't tell us how the universe started. It doesn't even attempt to do these things. As a matter of fact, a cardinal of the Catholic Church asked, and this is one of the reasons why Scientology dislikes Catholicism so much, asked, all right, if you are a religion, show me your God. No, Zeno is not a God. Zeno is not even a Satan figure. Zeno is a cardboard cartoon pulp fiction villain. Okay? All right? That's it. There is some theory that what OTA is supposed to teach you is that L. Ron Hubbard is God. I don't buy it. You know? I mean, you would think that God would at least be able to write a coherent sentence. You know? Sorry. God wouldn't need an editor. L. Ron Hubbard clearly did. And at least somebody has somebody to write it for him. <laughs> yes, yes. And does not get to claim to be one of the first nuclear physicists in America by flunking out of a course.
in nuclear physics.